every content creator needs cameras like this. You can actually move the cameras around like this just by pushing a button. Look at that. Push another button and, and it, it pans all over the place. Do that and wow, it's zooming in. Do that and it's zooming out. I mean, how is that possible? We are going to find out. PTZ Optics were cool enough to sponsor this video and send me two of their awesome cameras. Now I unbox them and they come with loads of great stuff, including the camera itself, the possibility to control it with a remote control and loads of other accessories that'll help you get started. The best thing about all of these cameras is that they work by connecting to your network. So you can connect to them over IP. And not only that, you can plug in some ethernet cable and power them over ethernet as well if you have that ability. So no need to search for cords and plugs and stuff, ethernet cable with the correct PoE or PoE injector will power up these cameras and bring them to life. They're really cool. They can move around. They're PTZ, so pan, tilt, zoom. They can follow you all around. And not only have I got one in front of me on top of a speaker so I can talk right into it and communicate with you, but I've also got one over my shoulder that is looking at everything I'm doing. And I'm going to use lots of MIDI presets later to control that camera and move it around my studio. To get the best view, I actually grabbed one of the PTZ Optics ceiling mounts and spent some time installing it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of curse words were said as I was trying to get screws into walls and screws into brackets, but actually it was made really easy with the fact that the brackets are super compatible, super easy, and I got it on the ceiling of my wonderful studio so that I get this beautiful view to set up lots of presets later so I can move around my studio and show you what exactly is going on. Let's find out what these cameras do. Now, first up, thank you, PTZ Optics, for sponsoring this video and sending me out some really cool cameras. I've got the NDIHX editions. I've got the 30x zoom that's behind me, and I've got the 12x uh, zoom in front of me that I'm talking into. Now, the coolest thing is you can control these cameras with MIDI. And because the Rodecaster Pro 2, which I have sitting in front of me, has MIDI integration, you can actually move the cameras around like this just by pushing a button. Look at that. Push another button and, and it, it pans all over the place. Do that. And wow, it's zooming in. Do that. And it's zooming out. I mean, how is that possible? We are going to find out. Now, first of all, because I'm working in NDI, you'll actually see on my screen here, I've got OBS Studio loaded up and I've got like a kind of multi view. So you can see everything. You can see I've got my mirrorless camera up here. I've got one PTZ optics camera coming in via the NDI 5 source and my front one that I'm talking into, that's also coming in via another source. Really easy to set up an NDI source. You just go here to plus in OBS, select MDI 5 source, click OK, and you can drop down. And as long as the cameras are on your network, which for me they are, you'll see two PTZ optics cameras, which is absolutely fantastic. Now you use the same IP on your network to connect to those cameras and set up the MIDI integration, which is really, this is really cool stuff. So over here, I've logged into the IP of both cameras. And for instance, this one here, uh, this control panel is controlling the one that is behind me. So I can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. Not only can I dial in the video, the image, the audio and everything I need to, but I can actually set up presets on my camera and set them to control. Now, I, I set up a bunch of presets earlier for this. So you'll notice that I've got preset two set up here and preset one already tied to some controls. Now, when you get to this page, you may find that these options aren't ticked. You definitely need to tick enable MIDI commands and display them in the browser because when I hit a button on my roadcaster, look at this, it changes the number down here and it gives a MIDI command value. Look at that. So I've preset up some MIDI commands on my roadcaster already and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But let me show you how to set up another preset. So as you can see, when I'm hitting those buttons, you see the uh, the Rodecaster now has a nice zoomed in view. This 30 times camera is really good. It can get right in on my Rodecaster, like which is like quite far away. <laughs> it can zoom right in on a little LCD screen there. So that's really good right out of the gate. Let's go in and let's set up another preset. So we want to set up preset number three and tie it to a MIDI button. So if I press the MIDI button here, this is going to be button three. And I can see it's button MIDI command 17 is attached to that. And it goes from zero to one, two, seven. So zero is off, one, two, seven is on. All I need to do is say when there's a control change on MIDI button 17, trigger the preset. Then I just map it to the MIDI. 
test. Boom, it's done. Okay, now we'll go back and we'll click that button. Boom, and it's gonna, wow, it's gonna zoom in right there on my microphone. And then I can press this button over here and I can zoom back out to get the full on over the shoulder view, which is really, really cool. Again, I'll, I'll go ahead, I'll go back to the MIDI control section here of my camera and I'll map a preset I made earlier, preset four, and I want to map it to this uh, purple button that I've got here, which is button 21. So when there's a control change on button 21, map it, boom, click OK. And then when I push this, it's going to do another preset. Whoosh, there it goes. It's going round and round. What's it going to find? Ah, it's found Pac-Man. That's super cool. Then I press button two and I'm back out. That's amazing. It's zooming back out on me. Now, how do I make this integration work seamlessly on the Rodecaster? Well, in order to do this, I'm going to zoom in on that Rodecaster and set up a MIDI button. So there we go. I press the button and there it is. It's zooming in on my LCD screen. And look at that tight focus there on my Rodecaster. Caster. So over here, I've got a bunch of MIDI buttons configured, but I can click in here and I can set up another MIDI button in one of my empty slots here on the Roadcaster. So I'm going to click plus here and then I'm going to say I want a MIDI trigger, please. And uh, it gives it a number, which is absolutely fine. We've got momentary or latching. I want to click momentary there. So I'll do that and then I'll click tick to assign that. So now I've got MIDI trigger down there. It's a lovely blue colored button. I can actually hit this trigger now to zoom back out. And you can see I've got a brand new button lit up on my Rodecaster right there. So now if I go back to my PTZ Optics MIDI control panel and I click that blue button, you'll see it's MIDI command 18 that's getting triggered there. So I want to attach preset five that I made earlier. When there's a control change on 18, trigger it, map it, and it's done. Let's click that button and zip. Yep, it's it's zooming in on goodness knows what it's going to find. What's it going to find? It's found my Rodecaster Pro, which is really cool. OK, so you've seen how MIDI works on my overhead camera. Let me actually hit that button and zoom back out again. That's awesome. How would I create a preset on my camera? Well, actually, I'm really happy that I can control this using remote control. So that's really cool. And coming in the future, by the way, there's going to be a really cool feature on these cameras where they can auto track your face. So I've got a camera that's facing me. It's absolutely still and steady. But in the future, I'll be able to move around and the camera will follow me a bit like those modern AI cameras that see the face and follow it everywhere. So could you imagine in a studio or in your broadcast environment, being able to walk around and have the camera track you. So that's just a heads up on a future feature there. Okay, so with this remote, what I can actually do, I can do everything I want to uh, by moving around. So I can actually, when I'm hitting the buttons on my remote, see it's actually moving around my studio like that for me, which is absolutely fantastic. Isn't that cool? And then if there's something specifically I want to uh, attach to a preset, maybe that lovely pyramid there. So let's try and like kind of basically get this in like so that looks good and then i'm going to click the zoom button and i'm not very accurate myself there we go nearly there zoom in on that pyramid that's looking good okay that's a cool pyramid i like that shot now i want to attach it to a preset so i'm going to go back to my control panel make sure i'm on the panel for this particular camera and then i'm going to say i want that to be preset one set it and it's done. Now what I can actually do is I can press button one and I can have that work or I can I can zoom out. So let me actually zoom out. I'm going to zoom out on this camera and I'm going to go back over here and set that as maybe preset two. So we've got a couple of presets and now you'll see when I go back over here, hello there, I can hit preset one and it's going to go straight in on my pyramid there or I can hit preset two Let's move that back there. I can hit preset two and it's going to come straight back out again to uh, sort of sort of my face. If I wanted, I could move this over a little bit and I could maybe have this as preset three. So let's set that up as preset three in the control panel for this camera. So now I've got preset one, which is going in on the pyramid, preset two, which is zooming out. And then I've got preset three, which comes back towards my face, which is really cool. And then I can go back to the control panel and I can map these to MIDI commands. And again, I, I might do this actually by going into my Rodecaster. Let's zoom into my Rodecaster from overhead and let's set up another MIDI uh, control here. MIDI control, it's going to be a momentary push. That's button 22. Again, MIDI control here and a momentary push, which is what we want. And let's set up three more. MIDI control, 
momentary. And now you'll see if I do my Rodecaster zoom out kind of feature, pushing the right button there to get my Rodecaster. There we go, I found the button. Now you can see all my MIDI buttons are set up and I can actually go back into the uh, controller here and now I can map presets again. So let's again enable MIDI commands and display MIDI commands. So for 22, we're going to trigger preset one. So let's do that. 22, map that, done. Okay, and then for 19, we're going to map preset two. So let's do that for 19 preset two. There we go. And then for 23, we're going to map preset three. Okay. So that's all good. And now if I push any of these buttons, I am going to zoom in on different various parts of me here. There we go. How cool is that? And then I can use the remote, of course, if I want to adjust this and get any kind of view that I'm looking for. It's all possible with the PTZ optics cameras, with the amazing MIDI integration, and it doesn't just work with the Rodecaster, so I can use any device, any anything that's got MIDI in it, like a keyboard. This little keyboard, I can actually plug this into my computer here. I've actually got a USB port right in front of me. Let's plug that in. And once it is recognized by my computer, it should appear as an option in my MIDI dropdown. Might need to give it a second. Okay, and now if I go into MIDI controller, you'll see the LPK25, which is this wonderful Ikai keyboard, can also be mapped in different ways. And if I select that as my MIDI controller for the camera, I can actually then enable the MIDI commands and I can look at what the notes are doing. Look at that. So each note I'm pushing here, if I hold it up to the camera, represents a different MIDI command. So I could have the, the, the C here or the middle C up here. So middle C is 60 and this other lower octave C is 48. So I could have preset one. Again, control change here for 48. Let's scroll down and find 48. We'll be mapped. And again, we'll do the same for preset two, or let's actually use preset three for a control change on MIDI command 60. Okay, now if I press this MIDI command, it's gonna do something with my camera. And if I press the other MIDI command over here, it's gonna zoom back out just as I push buttons on my keyboard, so I'm pushing a button here. In it goes on the pyramid. And then we'll push another button. Let's get a clearer shot. And then we'll push another button and it's zooming back out. So it's super cool and it goes to show you that anything is possible with MIDI integration and the PTZ Optics cameras. The question is, how are you going to be using these in your creation? I highly recommend using the Rodecaster Pro. It's really cool, really easy to set up MIDI on the Rodecaster and get things working. Let me know what you think of this and any questions you have in the comments down below. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more Music Radio Creative.com